An LA County Sheriff's deputy caught on camera talking to his ex girlfriend while ignoring an emergency call of shots fired is the talk of the town. And now the ex girlfriend is talking for the first time. And CBS 2 Serene Branson is live in downtown LA with more. Serene. Pat Rick, these viral videos show the sheriff's deputy videoing himself, ignoring calls, and behaving badly. Now, he'd sent these videos to an ex girlfriend who he was with for about five months, and we spoke to her here in downtown LA today, and she told us why she felt the public should see them. It's not only about me, it's about where he works and what he stands for and what he's supposed to do with the job that he does have. That's why Priscilla Anderson says she's speaking out and publicly sharing these videos of her ex-boyfriend, LA County Sheriff's Deputy Jeremy Fennell. In this one, he's in a patrol car and dismisses a shooting call. I would immediately call him and tell him this isn't right what you're doing you need to go ahead and answer your call. The 28 year old says the Lakewood station deputy took the videos and sent them to her to get her to respond. Anderson says he also physically abused her and held a gun to her head. She says she reported the abuse and sent the videos repeatedly to the department and never got a response. She got a restraining order and decided to post the clips. She says she has 100 total. She shared this one. Wow, you really hung up. I said you f away from my car, bro. He was also taking it out on people in the public, you know, just giving people random tickets because I wouldn't return his phone call. And what's on those videos is embarrassing, frightening, and harmful. Harmful to the safety of my client, Miss Anderson, and harmful to the public. Ben Micellis is representing Anderson. I think they were trying to cover up uh, for the officer. The department says Fennell was relieved of duty January 25th after his arrest on domestic violence charges. A spokesman calls the videos upsetting. We sign on to help people. So it, it, when there's allegations that one of our own didn't do that, it's of concern to all of us and it affects us all right to the core. This situation shouldn't be treated any different just due to the fact that he's a police officer and he has a badge. And a spokesperson for the department here at headquarters told us this afternoon they are taking these videos very seriously. There are two investigations underway, an administrative investigation by the sheriff's department as well as another one by the DA's office. Rick, Pat, we'll send it back to you.